why did Katapa kill Bahubali? Well, Indians were waiting for this answer for close to two years. Hello everybody, in this episode we are going to talk about arguably the greatest director of Indian cinema right now, Mr. S.S. Rajamouli. These are the scenes from one of the famous movie theatres in Los Angeles. And this is a scene from a movie theatre down south. He's clearly ruling the hearts of the audience around the world, not just in India, but also in international waters. This is uncharted territories for any Indian director. He's coming on late night talk shows with Seth Meyers and he's basically hosted by some of the popular podcasts right now. If you know these podcasts, why don't you let me know in the comments box. And how did he got there? To understand that, we need to start from the basic. Where did he grow? What was his childhood like? Well, he mentioned multiple times, by the time he was 12 or 13 years old, he was living with his uncle's aunts, 12 members in a one-bedroom apartment. Well, he was not born poor, by the way. His grandfathers had up to 360 acres of land. But by the time he was in his teens, they lost it. He knew the value of failure, how his family has lost that wealth he has seen in his childhood. And subsequently, by 19, he became an English teacher. He mentioned that, hey, it is not because I am a great teacher, but because I was the best English speaking person that was there in my village at that point in time. And hence, his journey has started from a very humble background and then slowly he moved into the film industry. His dad was a writer and his family has certain roots. So he started off as a co-director in one of the popular Telugu daily serials. If you know the serial name, why don't you put it in the comments box? And he co-directed close to 300 episodes. And then subsequently, or at the same time, he also was an assistant director for one of the movies that his dad has directed. Let me know again the name of the movie. This movie, I am not sure if you'll know the name of the movie because it bombed big time at the box office. And his family was about to get bankrupt. The second time he has seen the cost of a failure. These cost of failures have taught him big time lessons. He mentioned that, hey, I am okay taking longer time to succeed, but I do not want to make any mistakes. And that is the reason why every single time you see in his interviews, whenever he's talking about filmmaking, he puts up producers as one of the primary pillars of the entire movie making industry. And he gives them the respect and he also talks about them at the first point. So if you are set out to make a, uh, make a film, there are three important people that you should really, uh, that you should really be concerned. The first person is the producer who is investing his money uh, in your dream. Subsequently, even the actors who work with him have talked about that. They told that, hey, multiple times is very difficult to work with because he will go on for reshoots. So our first collaboration, student number one. I told you, you know, this perfection ka kida hai Raj mein. Mm -hmm. So the moment I saw it, I saw him, you know, work on that movie. He was not settling down for even a 99. It started from then. So for him, it was a hundred percent, even though it was his first movie. He was very sure what he wanted. And for that, the amount of uh, effort he was putting in as a filmmaker, that made me call him Jakana. I said, you're like a sculptor, you know, you just sculpt every frame of yours. Reshoots. And famously, he reshot one of the scenes in Bahubali after one year, which was just about to get released. He realized that he didn't like one of the shots and he went for the reshoot. That is the level of commitment that he developed. And that was because he knew that, hey, he didn't want to face another failure. And you can see his filmography is 100% intact. He did not face a single failure so far as a director. Now, he was a good director. He was good with filmmaking. And he had multiple hits under his hat. 
But the one film that changed his entire career was Bahubali. And why did that happen? Why couldn't all the prior films change his trajectory? Because the prior movie before Bahubali was Makki, Iga. That was a fantastic movie, technically brilliant. If you haven't watched that movie, please do go watch it. But the movie unfortunately did not do well in the northern circuit. In the Bollywood circles, it did not do very well. It was a hit movie down south. And he attributes the single biggest reason for that failure as marketing. They could not take the movie into the masses. And that is the reason, even though all his prior movies before Bahubali were good movies, they were only sustained in the south film belts. They did not do well in the northern circles. And when Bahubali released, he believed that, hey, the movies, the audience were there around the world, but it has to be marketing. And that is the reason in this interview, he says that, hey, it is not about filmmaking. I might not be the best filmmaker ever, but I do know marketing. Many people might not, uh, I mean, some people might not agree that I, uh, uh, whether I'm a good filmmaker or not, but everyone makes, uh, agrees that I'm a very good presenter of my films. I'm a very good, uh, uh, I realize my films very well. Now, this interesting angle that he realized that he learned after the failure of Makki made Bahubali what we know today. This has changed the entire Indian cinema. Everybody started talking about who is this Rajamoli. And subsequently, the next movies are now reaching even greater scales. Like now RRR, people are talking about it at an international level. But this entire change in the game for him happened because of marketing. Movie direction is just entertainment for you and me. But for Mr. Raj Mauli, it is more than that. It is about producers' money and it is also about the audience. He completely believes that, hey, even if he directs a great movie, it doesn't really matter if audience are not coming into the theatres and giving their verdict. And that's the reason why Bahubali has bought in Karan Johar as the presenter of the movie. And we know what happened after that. I completely agree with him. It is not just about your own personal qualities, your personal abilities, but can you sell, can you market your product better? And that is really, really tough. If you do believe that, hey, I am adding any value to you, please go ahead and also subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends because marketing is the toughest thing and I hope you will help me believe and get to that greater audience out there. Absolutely nothing wrong. Rajamoli is doing that. He's going and giving these interviews and he's participating in these different shows at an international level. Being an acclaimed director, he's doing that. So I believe that I would need your support to do that too, to keep going forward if you believe in the value. Now, the third thing, which is also fundamentally very important for Rajmoli, he again mentioned it in multiple interviews, is the entire concept of filmmaking. Well, if you talk to him, he very clearly explained in one of the videos, unfortunately that video is in Telugu, but I will put down the link in the description box. He very clearly explains the difference between what is the script, the screenplay and the story. And for him, screenplay is nothing but what the audience want and the story is what he wants to communicate. And the mix of these two is what the director has to balance. And how does he balance that? Let's take for example, the movie RRR. The first introduction scenes of both the protagonists, these are like mind blowing scenes. Subsequently, there is a scene where both of them meet together. And then there is the song Natu Natu. And then towards the interval block, there is another scene. These are five to six scenes in the first half of the movie, which bring an emotional high to the audience. And this emotional high is nothing but screenplay in his own words. And the way he differentiates screenplay versus story helps us realize the level of nuance and the level of understanding he has about the audience. Every single 10 minutes into the movie, he believes that audience should get an emotional high. And that is what differentiates him from any other movie director out there. And if we have to take any lessons, they are pretty obvious and these are excellent lessons for each one of us. Number one, we need to understand the cost of failure and learn about the trade right from day one. How he is differentiating in the story versus screenplay scenario, we need to know what we are learning from day one. It is not just about learning about our trade and executing it, but it is also about marketing. I hope you like this video. Please go ahead, click on that like button, subscribe to the channel, and also don't forget to share it with your friends. Take care, guys. See you again. Bye-bye.